Let's get right now to that top story. A former Colleen City Councilman wants to get two council members removed from office over the ordinance that decriminalizes the possession of small amounts of marijuana. Jonathan Ogre says the council is violating state law with its support of Proposition A. Six News reporter Adriana Alexander is live in the studio now. And Adriana, this isn't the first time Ogre has tried to get council members out of office. Chris Lindsay, it's not. Back in 2011, he organized a recall that resulted in five city council members losing their positions. Well, this time he's targeting Colleen City Council members at large, Jose Seguera and Ramon Alvarez. They were the last council members to sign off on Prop A. Bell County filed a lawsuit in April to stop the ordinance because they argue it's against state law. As a result, the city has spent tens of thousands of dollars in legal fees. Oak Ray submitted a petition last month to get a recall vote on the ballot in November. He needs 5,000 signatures to make it happen. I would call it an unforced error. You know, uh, but but they're not stuck in the middle. They're, they're very much. They were very much involved. Marijuana, in the in the proposition, uh, as a whole, is uh, is it's not legal in Texas, and and it should have never made it to the ballot. Oak Ray says as of today, he has 2,000 signatures and has 30 days left to reach the 5,000 requirement. Oh, well, I also spoke to Councilman Segura. He told me how Prop A was able to get on the ballot and why he believes the ordinance is a much bigger issue than just removing council members from office. We'll have more on that a little later at 6. Yeah, yeah. the big question is where does it go from here now? Exactly. And yeah. no matter who's on the council, they're going to have to deal with the Absolutely. issue. Absolutely. Yeah. All right. Thanks so much, Adriana.